Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you this module called Menu Attributes. And I don't know if uh, you've had enough experience with Drupal yet, or you've been playing around with Drupal. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, when creating menus in Drupal's interface, you don't get a whole lot of options. And it's really unfortunate that they're not there by default. I mean, it seems to me like that should be pretty easy to be able to um, select the class, just, you know, add a class or um, a target by default in Drupal. However, it's not. Uh, luckily, there's this a module called Menu Attributes. So if you want to go to this page, drupal.org, um, slash project slash menu underscore attributes, or you can just search for menu attributes in Google or Drupal search bar, you can find this. Uh, go ahead and grab and install this menu, uh, this module. Okay, so I'm just going to click here to download it. We're going to install it just like last time um, and every time, actually. So, so I'm just going to drag this into my modules folder. Refresh my modules page, and then I'm going to search for it. Um, and I don't know if you caught the last tutorial. However, um, if your menu, or if your module uh, screen does not look like this, um, it's because I'm using a module called Men or Module Filter. Um, and it really allows you to sort through, search through your modules nice and easily. Uh, it's, it's really great. Nice um, a module that I've grown very fond of in the past couple of weeks here. So I'll click Menu Attributes, and we're going to save this. And this is instantly going to um, give you a whole bunch of options in your menu screen. So we're going to go to Structure, and then Menus, and then we'll just look at our main menu because that's you know the the most important one. And let's just take a look at a particular uh, link here. Um, let's go to Projects. We'll click Edit here. Okay. So now, if you'll notice, there's this drop down under here that didn't used to be here, and this is Menu Item Attributes. Cool. Okay, so this allows you to specify a title, an ID, a name, relationship, classes, uh, style, although you'd probably just want to add a class to it. And then you can have it a target. You can give it in a, a new window, same window, parent window, all that cool stuff. And you can even give it an access key, which is a keyboard shortcut that uses to access this link. Um, so it's pretty cool. Menu attributes. Um, it does all sorts of great stuff here. In fact, I mean, I personally think this sort of um, this sort of use should be built in by default. However, um, you know what can you do? Uh, that's why there's menu attributes. So if you want to soup up your menus, install menu attributes, then you have access to classes, relationships, all this great stuff. And it's easy as, you know, adding a class of projects. We'll just do this, projects, and we'll click save. Okay, and now let's exit out of here, and let's look at this, inspect it. Okay, and as you can see, it's given the, uh, the anchor tag a class of projects. And if we go to any of these other ones, um, you can see this about has a title of about me, but that's just sort of Drupal's doing, and no class. So if we wanted to in, um, style this projects link in particular, we wouldn't necessarily have a way of doing it for maybe keying off of this list item. But let's say you needed to add a class or add a target, this is how you do it. Um, it's a lot easier than you know going into core and writing the PHP yourself. So. Uh, menu attributes, that's it. Nice and easy, not too much here. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you want to hear. Uh, uh, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.